I discovered that fan one, which is the CPU fan right here, it is currently not running. So that is stopped. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, uh, what about heat? It's always really fun when we have a really nice, great product that we love to use. And I happen to have a computer. It's an MSI computer, laptop, gaming computer they use for creating videos. Well, unfortunately, I bought it in January, but unfortunately, yesterday or the day before, it started making a noise. Now, on the laptop itself, as you look at the laptop on the back right, there's a fan for the CPU. And on the back left, as you face the computer, there's the fans for the GPU. And on the right hand side, it started making this noise. <laughs> then that noise got louder and then it just totally stopped. And then I brought up the utilities, the Dragon utilities, to take a look at the fan information. And here's what I found. I discovered that fan one, which is the CPU fan right here, it is currently not running. So that is stopped. So I'm thinking, oh my gosh, uh, what about heat? So to check on the heat for the CPU, we can go up here to CPU, click on detail. It'll show us the heat level for the CPU. So if we do that by clicking on detail, Currently it's at 79, 78. Now I do have some recording software that's currently running at this moment to record this video. And anytime it gets higher than 85, 90 Celsius, like 100 degrees Celsius is boiling. So here's what I did. I did two basic things. Number one, I ordered a new fan from Amazon. Let me show you which fan I ordered for the CPU. So here's what I ordered. I ordered this guy right here. This is the CPU fan. And I also decided to, while well, I was at it, order a GPU fan as well. This one on the left-hand side in the event I need to replace that. So currently it's Sunday, those bad boys will be in by Tuesday. I also ordered a little thermal compound because I have to remove the entire heat sink as I replace those fans. And I wanna make sure that there's a nice solid connection between the heat sink and the GPU and CPU chips. And I also bought a little kit to make sure I had all the tiny screwdrivers that I need for this process. Now, one question is why not just have this repaired under warranty? And the reality is I use this machine so much that I can't afford to have this computer shipped away and gone for two to three weeks while they replace this fan. It's much quicker for me just to do it on my own. Now, in the meantime, because I don't want my CPU to fry, I don't want it to blow up from heat, let's go ahead and take a look at some settings that we could use that I'm using that might help me extend and limp along until the new fan comes in. So here in the Dragon Center that comes with the MSI computer, I went to settings and I went to fan speed, I went to advanced. And once I select advanced, we can click on this gear icon right here. And then I clicked on GPU, the fan that does work and I set it to about 65% even when it's cold. And that's gonna help dissipate some of that heat from the overall heat sink that's covering the CPU and GPU. So with that in place, I clicked on save. And if we go back and take a look at the processor, right now it's at 11%, 12% as I'm recording this. If we click on detail, wow, phew, um, it's still at 85 as I'm doing this. And then if I'm not doing a recording, if I'm not doing editing and rendering, it'll be a little bit less but I think I can survive and limp along with this at this level until a new fan comes in and I can replace it. Also, I looked online and there's quite a few people that have had very similar issues with this laptop. So let me give you the specs for the laptop that I currently have. So this is the actual laptop. It's the GS65 Stealth Thin-259. And I've also seen it listed as GS65 Thin 8R. F. So my intention is to make sure I bought the right fan for this model of computer. And then when it comes in, what I'll do is I'll shoot a video with time lapse of me actually doing an opening of the MSI computer and actually replacing that fan. And hopefully, hopefully it'll be a success. So I'll see you in that video as well. Meanwhile, if you haven't already, please take a moment and click on subscribe, click on the alerts. So you can be aware of when those new videos come in and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.